Hello, Real Music Reviews YouTube family. This is Tere of Real Music Reviews bringing you this week's music review. And I'm sorry that it's taking so long for this review. We have technical difficulties, difficulties excuse me, down there in Virginia right now where Rob Big R is in class right now, Virginia State University, home of the Trojans. So, I'm going to get into the music review now with my half and Big R will be on later as usual. Right now, I'm going to start with Karina Passion. Her album is called First Love. She's currently signed to Def Jam, Island Def Jam Records. I give this CD four and a half out of five stars. It is phenomenal, people. You need to go support this Dominican young girl. She is phenomenal. Vocal range is sick. Songs give you an Alicia Keys back in the day, Alicia Keys vibe. It is great, great. Moving on, and let me backtrack a little bit. Key songs are 16 at War, 90s Baby, and Slow Motion, and Winner. I love all those songs. They are great. Please go buy this. This is a must buy. This is the CD of the week. As you can see, it was the single of the week as well. This is the CD of the week, Karina Passion. Go get this girl. Next CD I'm talking about is Swayze. They're currently signed to Sheraton Geffen Records, and I don't know how long they're going to be there. Because honestly, the CD was a flop to me. It had the potential of nothing. Honestly, it was straight California vibe to it. It was an okay, I'm going to be fair, it was an okay CD. At best, we give this CD two and a half out of five stars. And it might be that Swayze might have to go out and go get some more money from his manager or owner because he's not going to get this much off this album. For the Swayze fans out there, I support y'all. Go out and go support them. Go buy them if you love them. The next CD I'm talking about is Amy Donald. Amy McDonald's a 20-year-old sensation. She's a traditional folk artist. Her voice is a soft, mellow tone to it. Vocal acrobatics are sick. She is amazing. I'll give that CD three and a half out of five stars. Moving along, we have the singles of the week. Singles and extended plays, also known as EPs. I'm gonna first start off with Country. His name is Trace Atkins. Trace Atkins is the sign to Capitol Records, excuse me, and the single is called Muddy Waters. It's a great. I love this country. I love this. This is a very good country vibe. You're going to get that vibe to it. The game, House of Pain. He's currently signed Geffen Records. I give that three, and, three out of five stars. It's not better than the single he had with Lil Wayne. My Life. Pink. Yes. Pink is back back. This is a fun song. She talks about her ex-husband in it. She talks about going out to the club again. I love this single. I love how the, just going by the single, I know that this is going to be a phenomenal album. I give this a 4 out of 5. It's catchy. Great beat. Moving along, I have Wayne Brady. Yes, the, the comedian, Wayne Brady, we already knew was a phenomenal singer. He's actually putting in time to make an album. You know this is going to be good. The single he's, is currently released off of Concord Music Group. It's that R&B, smooth R&B song. The single is called Ordinary. Please go buy this. And if you don't buy it, just listen to it. It's great. I give it four and a half out of five stars. That is great. And then my last single, which is not really a single, it's an EP, is Morningwood. Morningwood single is called Sugar Baby EP. You currently heard this on MTV. They play it every five to ten minutes. And it's great because it's a great single. It's a great EP. Please go out there and buy it. It's all available on iTunes. Everything I just discussed was available on iTunes. 
please go out and buy these artists. Buy it real. Do not download illegally. Please go out there and buy it. I know times is hard, but support your one or two favorite artists out here. Even if you never heard of these people, listen to them, and you sure enough will be happy with what you get. This is Big T of Big T and Big R, excuse me, Heavy T of Heavy T and Big R. Definitely, please support us, subscribe to us. We will definitely answer any emails and any questions that you have. I know that we've taken a little bit longer with our reviews, but we definitely try to get them posted. Subscribe, comment down there, comment. We read every comment, we reply to every comment. Please, we want at least 100 subscriptions by next month. Please subscribe, people. Please, and we will subscribe to you. Peace. Heavy tea out. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Big R, signing on August 19th, 2008, um, for the Real Music Review of today. Uh, Swayze releases their self-titled album today. The Giffen Records artists have been busy this year recording a show on MTV and they've been traveling and performing on Warp Tour. They really have been doing their thing. Their single Buzzin' has been doing just that. More recently, their single Corona and Lime has been going, um, gaining momentum this summer as well. And as far as the album is concerned, let's just say it's disappointing. Uh, their West Coast Pacific style is, is refreshing, but lyrically all you get is weed and sex and blah, blah, blah. Just nothingness. Uh, every song lyrically sounds exactly the same. It's painfully annoying about three songs in. It's a burnout album. It doesn't cut it for me. But um, I think their album deserves a two and a half out of five. Sad to say, I did expect more. But on to uh, the next person, a uh, uh, divine young vocalist, I should say, Karina Pajan of Island Def Jam, released First Love today. Although she is um, in her preteens and she's a uh, she is a lady diva singer I should say I've heard her live um, and she's just phenomenal that's all I can say she writes her own lyrics she plays the piano she can sing well and she's you know she's cute she's genuine she's sweet I don't know she's just like the total package as far as what you're looking for um, I just can't put it into words she sounds like Rihanna Minus the accent, um, Beyonce, Kiki Palmer, Monica, all wrapped into one. Uh, so that's a definitely a good look. Key songs to um, listen out to, uh, 90's Baby, Slow Motion, and Can't Bring Me Down. I love those songs. I gave her album a 4 out of 5. Honorable mentions for this week. We have on the hip hop scene, Ice Cube with his album Raw Footage. I gave his album a 3.5 three out of 5. Um, GZA, his album Pro Tools, I gave his album a 4.5 out of 5. Love that album. Uh, for the alternative scene music, we have Stereo Lab. They're kind of like underground artists a little bit. Um, their album is called Chemical Chords. I gave their album a 4 out of 5. And they sound like Coldplay, Nars Barkley, and they're like a 2008 Beatles. So if you like any of those artists, go check them out. And I definitely will be seeing you on the next music review. Big R signing off. Hope you enjoyed these reviews. Comment, comment, comment. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holla at you later. Peace.